So this is just a little follow-up video of the recent video I've put out for a mod fix. Um, there is actually an issue with this fix that's just been found out. Once you restart your computer, basically you won't be able to connect to the online servers. So unfortunately, it's sort of a one-off thing. So every time you restart your computer, every time Origin fully closes and reopens, you're going to have to uninstall it and reinstall the old version. It only takes, say, about five minutes max. Obviously, it's a bit of a nuisance, but it is the only way at the minute to get Origin mods working. As you can see here, once you restart your computer or exit out and fully shut down Origin, when you reopen it, it will say Origin requires a critical update and it will not let you go online. So what you're going to have to do is every time you restart your computer, you're going to have to uninstall it and reinstall the file that we downloaded earlier. This isn't ideal, like I say, but at the minute, it's the only way around it. Luckily enough, it isn't a massive job to uninstall and reinstall Origin. It's only about, like say, five minutes. So I hope you understand. I didn't know about this issue when I posted the video. I hope this helps if you've been having a few problems. So. When you install the old version of Origin, just don't reload your computer, don't exit out of Origin once you've loaded in for the first time. Just let it run in the background, do whatever you do, and just remember, whenever you restart your computer, you're gonna have to re-download it. So now this is just a little example, so obviously exit out of Star Wars if you're playing it, this will then come like that. Then just exit out of Origin, click down here, right click, quit Origin, Till that goes, there you go. Origin's no longer running. Uninstall Origin. Yes. Uninstall. It'll do this. I didn't show you this last time because mine was working. Then just click finish. Double click onto this. It'll give you this screen again. Install. I, I didn't show you this menu either last time and I should have really. You've got to tick that. But untick that. Untick that untick that because if you leave that on and you restart your computer even if you haven't used origin you'll need to re-update it the next time you turn on your computer whereas if this is off at least if you install this now and i didn't use star wars again for today tomorrow i'll just be able to come on and play straight away no problem and then obviously just click continue and then click yes and as you can see it says install the latest version but this is where it's a bit broken it doesn't and as you can see here how quick it actually is and it's already installed so it's not a massive pain but it's not 100% fixed I did actually say in the video that it was only going to be sort of a temporary fix I didn't realize how temporary it was going to be so sorry about that but just to show you how quick it is there and what to actually click so obviously once you've downloaded it, it'll just come up with this, just click agree. Um, because you have to download it every time, just click OK to everything. And every time you'll redo it, you'll have to do the game properties and command line again. But if you just put a text file next to this, with what you need to put into this, you could just open it up, copy it in, and like I said, it could be as little as five minutes and you'll be fully ready to play the game again. So, sorry about that anyway. Thanks for watching.